Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Although the authorities are unable to identify the finder of the weapon in Blackstone Canyon, they have established that it is the correct one due to evidence that suggests it was there for several weeks. Furthermore, the gun is registered to Sonny Corinthos, the father of Christina Corinthos Davis and the ex-partner of Alexis Davis. At this point, the police have every cause to think that Alexis disposed of this gun. In addition, they understand that if Sonny shot John, Jagger Cates, they would never be able to locate the actual murder weapon and would have to construct a case without it. Considering all the fresh information, Alexis will soon be released, of course. If Jack Brennan is behind the gun delivery, then he may have wanted Alexis' freedom for a few reasons. Because of the turmoil surrounding Martin Gray's private investigation, Brennan and Carly Spencer were under a lot of pressure. Brennan has done away with the need for that private investigator by clearing Alexis. Brennan was unable to predict that Sonny would plot a confession at the most inconvenient time. Indeed, Brennan may have hoped to remove Sonny's desire to confess because doing so would put Carly in jeopardy because it would expose her ex-husband's alibi. Luckily, our projections suggest that after Sonny learns about the evidence being suppressed, he won't go all the way to admitting. Even if Sonny is still free, you can be sure that Robert Scorpio and Anna Devon will still view him as the main suspect. Brennan may have momentarily removed Carly's pressure if he made sure this special delivery arrived at the police station, but there may be more issues ahead. As Carly is involved in all of this, there will be more opportunities to trip him up and cause trouble for her as the inquiry will be concentrated on Sonny rather than the imprisoned Alexis. Carly's false alibi can continue to be an issue as the police put more effort into establishing Sonny's guilt. Stay tuned for updates on all the shocking news and plot twists. According to General Hospital spoilers, there are still more twists and turns in store for this GH plotline. Despite making an arrest, the police force has not been able to thoroughly investigate the murder of FBI agent John Cates. They acted accordingly because the copy thought they had sufficient evidence to find Alexis Davis guilty of the murder. But as viewers are aware, Alexis is completely innocent. In actuality, Sonny Corinthos is the real murderer. Sonny is aware that Alexis did not murder Cates, of course. From Sonny's penthouse, a gun was taken by Christina Corinthos Davis. Then, intending to assassinate Cates, she drove to the court remains, but she later had second thoughts. After a while, she returned home. But when Alexis found the gun, it was still in her purse. Alexis threw the rifle into the river to keep Christina out of danger, but Elizabeth Weber and Rick Lansing saw her do it. Christina was arrested by the police based on sufficient proof that she drove Alexis' automobile to the court remain residence. To date, at least, no one has been able to find the gun despite the best efforts of Sam McCall and the police. For a little while, the mysterious parcel that someone had sent to the police station was thought to be a bomb. However, once it was removed, it was discovered to be what appears to be the lost gun. However, that raises a lot of queries. Is this the gun that Alexis threw into the river, really? And by whom was it discovered? Michael Corinthos is aware that Christina is going to lose it and admit to the police that she was the one who drove to the Quartermains with a gun in order to save her mother from danger. Thus, it's plausible that he gave the police a duplicate gun so they could rescue Alexis without bringing Christina into more suspicion. In order to prevent Sonny from confessing, it's also plausible that Jack Brennan personally located the gun and sent it to the police implicating Carly Spencer as well because she claimed to have been with Sonny at the time of the crime. Or maybe it's someone else completely. Who sent the police the enigmatic package? Was Michael the one? Or is this just one more ruse by Brennan to get closer to Carly? Keep an eye on General Hospital, which airs on ABC during the week. You never know what will happen in Port Charles. For the week of Monday, October 14 Friday, October 18, 
General hospital updates and spoilers hint at tragic results, friendly ambushes, and betrayers of the family. As Jack Brennan sets up a friendly ambush, Rick Lansing plays dirty as the family traitor, and Alexis Davis awaits a deadly conclusion. On Monday, October 14, Molly Lansing Davis is given an understanding ear by Dex Heller prior to the hearing, while Alexis waits for a disastrous decision in court. In another instance, Elizabeth Baldwin confides in Terry Randolph regarding Lucky Spencer. Since she had to tell Lucky that his liver wasn't viable to donate to his dying sister, Lulu Spencer, Elizabeth has been extremely concerned about him. Meanwhile, something that Rick presents to Curtis Ashford shocks him. Additionally, Brad Cooper acts audaciously at the hospital lab after learning that Portia Robinson falsified Heather Weber's test results. On Tuesday, October 15, Sam McCall receives significant news and Ned Quartermain makes a proposal to Drew Quartermain. Michael Corinthos is tempted, probably still in the courtroom because he is still guarding Christina. Meanwhile, back at the Quartermains, Tracy Quartermain and Brooklyn Quartermain argue about something. Isaiah Gannon intervenes in another problem. Might this have anything to do with his old acquaintance Lucky? On Wednesday, October 16, Brennan ambushes Anna Devine in a friendly manner. Isaiah and Jordan Ashford go on their first dinner date in another scene. Elizabeth and Portia are perplexed in the interim. Is there a connection to Heather's medical records? In another scene, Sasha Gilmore asks her ex-boyfriend Michael for anything. Tracy and Cody Bell exchange nasty remarks elsewhere. On Thursday, October 18, Rick steals the show as the dishonest family member. However, is this related to Alexis, Sonny Corinthos, or his case with Heather? In other scenes, Tracy appears to be reversing her previous actions. Following their disagreement, she now wants to assist Cody. Sasha receives some news that changes her life. Could testing to check if she can donate a portion of her liver to Lulu have shown something else? Sam and Dante Falconeri are relieved in another scene. This could be related to the significant news Sam received earlier. Holly Sutton needs to give some explanations. Friday, October 19, Holly receives some encouraging words from Felicia Scorpio. Meanwhile, there is a rift developing between Molly and Christina. Tracy and Laura Collins talk about the past, and they have a lengthy history together. Ned finds himself consoling Brooke Lynn over something. Maybe she failed the test to be a donor for Lulu. Elizabeth discovers a motive to inform Lucky elsewhere. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.